Hi everyone, this is Light I've Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share my um, auto ship from Anna Griffin. And this was the flower um, collection that she was doing. She did the flower cart, the flower shop, the wishing well, and the fountain. This one was the last one. So I want to share it with you guys. Uh, it came in a couple days ago and I did get a chance to play with it. So it comes in this really nice box, as all her auto ships do. And then you just, it has a little ribbon here that you pull out the drawer. So I'm going to do that now and share, um, I'm going to share the die with you first. Look at that gorgeous die. So this is a really, really nice size, um, die I will measure it for you uh, and I'm gonna do the silhouette so the silhouette portion of it is uh, four and five eighths wide at the widest point and then in the height it is six and a half well six and three eighths yeah about six and three eighths inches tall and uh, so it's a really really nice size uh, die and it does it is an easel die so it comes with the easel portion it comes with the little stopper and then it comes with a flower pot and it looks like some leaves right there it also comes with the inspiration sheet which is this one and it gives you just different ideas on you know how to put this together or how to decorate it and then it also gives you instructions on how many pieces you need to cut of each one and how to assemble it so that comes with that and it also comes with and I'm, I'm not sure I really haven't been watching so I'm not sure if a lot of people have shared it but I'm going I'm going to share mine uh, with you guys um, it comes with envelopes it comes with her uh, signature gold foil matte gold foil and then it comes with um, it comes with um, the sheets and you get four of each so this one's one and then there's the back side to that one so pretty I love that green here's another one and the back side to those is this so this is what you get very very pretty and then you get these pink ones and she has had these before but they had the gold foiling on them. And there's the back to the pink. Very, very pretty. You get these. Uh, hold that one second. And there's the back to that. So pretty. This one has gold foiling on the back. And then you get these. I have seen these before in her other, maybe the flower cart. And then there's the back. This looks like her medallion to her uh, logo. And then you get these right here with the ribbon going through it. And they're pink in the back. Very, very pretty. Here is the next ones. It has script on the back. And then the flowers in the front. And then you get this one. And there's the back to that. I love the back to this one. Uh, this is more like a minty or very very light sage green with the gold foiling. Gorgeous. And then you get, this is the last one right here. Very pretty. And they're gold foiling in the back. And they're just like leaves. Kind of looks like wheat. So you get that. You get the gold foil. And you get the envelopes. And then you get the um, the signature cards or sentiment cards where you can write a personal message. And you do get them in a variety of colors. They're pretty much, you can see all the colors. I think there's a lighter one right here. Yeah. So those are all the colors that you get. Gorgeous. I love the greens. I love the, the color selection that she did on this one. So you get those. Mm 
you do get some uh, very pretty uh, flourishes with in the ivory with the gold foiling. You do get some pots in there, and let's see what else is in there. I don't really want to take everything out because I think some some ladies have already shared it. But you get a package of that. You get a package of the sentiments, all in those same tones as the signature cards. And these are like for any occasion. And then you get a package of her flowers. Now, these flowers remind me of uh, the ones my friend Carolyn did for... Um, she had the Anna Griffin Cricut flowers. And she, when she was, when I hosted the Griffinite swap, she gifted a lot of these flowers. So I do have a lot of flowers that, uh, Anna Griffin flowers that she printed out and cut with her Cricut. Uh, because she did have, she bought the, the file for that. So very, very pretty. So you get all of that. Let me put that back in the box. And now I want to share my project with you guys. I hope that you like what I created. But I not only did I use my Anna Griffin um, fountain, I did use, uh, I did combine some of my, um, I did combine some of my other dyes uh, by Carnation Craft and some other Anna Griffin dyes. And I will share them with you. One of the things that I used is this 3D scissor uh, mechanism from um, Carnation Crafts. I will link it in the description box below because I believe that this is a must-have. As a matter of fact, I, I bought two of them because when what you know, eventually our dyes do go dull. So when that happens, I want to have a backup one. And maybe again, when I order again, I'll place another, you know, I'll order another one. And then I also use this one, which is the Seasonal Sash. I believe this came out in July, I think, or it might have been last year's collection. Not too sure. I've had it a while and never used it. I'm going to say this came out in, like in Christmas in July. And with Carnation Craft, you can actually purchase the artwork. This is the artwork for it. All I do is get my dye and I layer it up on the artwork, run it through my machine, and I get all the detail cuts. The die has a lot, a lot of detail. You can see the detail in the die. That's why I love Carnation Craft because you can get uh, the artwork for it. And you can also cut the extra poinsettia and then that little poinsettia center as well. This would be pretty adding pearls to the little berries that are on here. I didn't do that, but you know, that's an idea. And then I use me my Anna Griffin. Um, these are the little uh, small borders, and these are the holiday ones. One of the the ladies shared these uh, die cuts with us during the Griffinite swap, and that's how I found out about these. And they are gorgeous, and they are holiday ones. So I'll share with you what they are called. That way, if you're looking for them, they're called 3D holiday decorative border dies. There it is. There's the name. So if you're looking for these, that's what they are called. And um, I was able to find them. I was so happy. I love Anna Griffin dies. So I did, um, like I said, those are the things that I use. Now let me share my project with you guys. I also used a die cut from one of the ladies gifted us the, the gates, the Anna Griffin gates that she came out with this year. I tried to purchase these and um, I bought them twice actually on HSN and the first time they canceled my order and kept part of my money as if I had refunded them like I had changed my mind so I had to contact them because it never got to me so I didn't cancel it so then they gave me a full refund and she the lady says it's still available I said well then let me order it again so I ordered it again and then I got an email that they had canceled it because they didn't have it in stock. So apparently they didn't have it in stock and that's why they had canceled my orders. Uh, so I wasn't able to get it, but I did have a die cut that was gifted by one of the ladies during the Griffinite swap. Um, I don't remember who it was. I had her pack. Oh, here it is. I was going to say I had her package out because I wanted to... You know, give credit where credit is due. This one was by um, Kathy Kendall. And um, she is the one who um, gifted. This is her 
swap from the Griffinite swap. I had the ladies follow a tutorial on making these um, accordion files for the dies, for the die cuts. And this one was hers. She blinged it out with some very, very pretty trim. Anyway, the, the um, gate was in hers and she did cut out the gate and she cut out the silhouette to it, which I think that was really, really uh, a good thing to do because I didn't want you to be able to see through the card. So by having the silhouette to it, I adhered it to the, this is my recommendation. This is how I did it, but I wish I had. Adhere your die cut to the silhouette first and then cut it down the middle with a paper trimmer. You're never going to get a straight cut cutting it by hand. You need to use a paper trimmer uh, to have as accurate of cut as possible. Mine isn't very accurate, but you know what? When you have all this stuff, when it's all said and done, you can't even really tell. So right here is where I use that Christmas swag. From Carnation Craft and here is a Merry Christmas sentiment that I use from one of her Christmas uh, releases uh, sentiments or kits I think this came from create nine one of the uh, sentiments for the Christmas tags and oh I forgot to pull this out this is a Carnation Craft bell as well uh, this might be last year's and here it comes with the artwork. You line up the bells and you cut them out. And I felt they were perfect for this gate. So this one, I made it to ooh, slide out. So this is a belly band. But I did have to give it a gusset. So I have a quarter inch gusset. I didn't do anything on the back. Right here is where I used that border die to create the band uh, to wrap around the the card. So it would stay closed until the recipient gets it. So when you slide it down... You do have some openings right here on the gates. And I just added those poinsettias that were meant to layer up here. I just added them on the gate. So when you took off the banner, it would still be pretty and decorated. Gorgeous, gorgeous the way it looks. And I did use my Anna Griffin Christmas paper back here. So let's open it up. And here you have the, uh, the fountain. Look at how gorgeous that is. And I use one of her Kirigami uh, panels behind here. It says Merry Christmas, but it has the amaryllis, the hollies, the pine branches. And I just felt that it was the perfect backdrop for the fountain. Uh, I used her poinsettia paper right here. And on this fountain here, I cut apart the swag and just added it to uh, different portions of the fountain. And I wanted this to have a water effect. So I cut my uh, silhouette out of the Recollections paper. Uh, that is, what did I do with it? I had everything laid out, guys, because I wanted to share it with y'all. It is the iridescent uh, paper from uh, Recollections. You get it at Michael's. Um, and it's not very, it's got a craft colored back. But it's iridescent on the front or holographic on the front. I'm going to say iridescent, not really holographic. Because I wanted it to look like water. And then this is where the mechanism comes in, the scissor mechanism. This fountain is made to pull out of the card. And when you sit, the, stand the card up to display it, I wish you guys could see what I see. But the, the fountain sticks out from the card panel it makes a beautiful beautiful presentation i will take a picture of it and that will be the thumbnail that way you guys can get a better look at it but i'm going to lift it up so you can see what i see uh with without it tilting too bad it doesn't tilt when it's sitting up but this is what it looks like uh, when it's on display standing up. Imagine if you would add little lights behind it. It would be stunning. But if you're going to add little lights to it, I would give it more than a uh, half an inch gusset because I don't think a half an inch, I mean more, a quarter of an inch gusset, I don't think a quarter of an inch would be enough. You would probably need about a half inch gusset and uh, sandwich your lights in between two layers of the silhouette. Uh, to the fountain that way, you know, they're in between two layers of paper and it is not real obvious now for shipping 
the the scissor mechanism let me see if i can give you there it is right there it is made to just slide back down it's made to just slide back down so you do want to cut it out of the heavyweight paper see when i pull it up it expands but when i want to close it it slides closed almost like an ironing board do any of you guys still iron I don't, but I used to, <laughs> so I own one, and that's what it is. Look, it's like an ironing board. You know how we close it? That's what that mechanism does, and it is just gorgeous, you guys, set up. I'm actually going to do another one, and I am going to add lights to it because when I create or when I'm explaining things to you guys, sharing them on my video, by looking at my project, I get other ideas on what I can do with it. So this would be gorgeous with lights in it. And that will probably be the next one that I do exactly the same because I love this design. It was very simple to put together. And maybe I'll put together the one with lights on a video. That way you guys can see how I did it and how to uh, put that mechanism together. Carnation Craft does have a video on that. You can hop on over to their website or they, they are on YouTube as well. Uh, and they show you how to uh, put that together. But it's not very difficult at all. Um, but I do recommend that when you put one together, make an extra one and put it together and just leave it in your package. Because me personally, when I stop doing something, I forget how to do it. But if I have one in the package put together, and that's what I'm going to do, uh, then all I have to do is look at it and I know what I need to do. So anyway, guys, that is what I had to share with y'all today. Look at that gorgeousness. I hope everyone has a great day and God bless. Bye.